Hi guys! As you can tell from the title, today I'm painting a piggy bank that my mum bought me. I think she got it from like a cheap shop, you know, like cheapest chips or something. Um, after opening it, it felt a little bit um, powdery, uh, or like dusty, so I just gave it a wipe with a baby wipe. Um, it also came with its own little brush and paint pots, but uh, I wanted to use my own paints. Um, yeah, so you'll see in a second that um, I used some acrylic paint that I bought also from a dollar store. Um, I think it was Trev's. Um, <laughs> I also decided to use a cheap watercolor brush because it was the biggest one I had at the time. Um, I regret that decision because <laughs> it was. You know, watercolour brushes are made to soak up lots of water, so it sort of was just messy and it sort of went everywhere. Um, yeah, after mixing that pink colour, it was too dark, so I mixed a bit of white into it to make it more pale, like the pale colour that I wanted. Um, and then I painted. Um, I had a little trouble getting into that money slot. <laughs> um, I think it's probably because I used such a big brush. Um, but yeah, I made it work eventually. Um, so I want to make more videos like this in the future. Um, I want to paint on random things. I don't have a lot of skill, but hopefully by making these kinds of videos, I can gain some. And I think that would be nice. Um, I also want to do like drawing. And I think by drawing with you guys on video, um, I'll gain some skill and it'll be nice. I just want to get good at drawing, I guess. Um, but I also have really bad internet at the moment, so it's hard to upload. Once that's sorted out, I want to start making videos more consistently, um, especially during the quarantine. <laughs> um, so I was thinking of making two videos a week, like one random one and one gaming one. Um, but we'll see. I think that, um, you know, we'll see how we go. It depends on like what I'm inspired by at the time. So. We'll see. Um, and then that brings me to my Sim series that I just started. Um, it's a legacy challenge. And I have another video ready to go. But I can't upload it because um, my laptop can't really access the internet very well right now. Um, so that one's going to have to wait another week. But hopefully next week I'll get it sorted out. So I'll have better internet next week and I can actually start uploading properly <laughs> like I want to <clears throat> anyway um, I used the darker colored pink um, to paint the bottom but I had some trouble getting a straight line around the bottom um, you'll see that in a second when I change color it shouldn't be too far away right now <clears throat> No, oh, no, I'm still picking up the rest of the piggy. I think um, it was a little bit patchy. I only did one coat, and I kind of regret only doing one coat. Um, it could have done with another one, but I thought it looked right anyway, so. Eh, oh well. It's only for me, so. Oh well. But yeah, this is where you'll see um, I'm using that darker pink, and you'll see that I have a little bit of trouble with that line, getting it right. So yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I like these colors they're not quite the colors I wanted though I wanted more pastel pink I wanted it to be like a cuter color if that makes sense hard to describe what kind of pink I wanted um, but yeah they're not quite what I wanted they still look okay though anyway oh. Um, I also used the darker pink to colour some of the details, like the eyes and the nostrils, uh, the ears and the tail. I think the tail is one of my favourite bits actually, I think it was very cute. I don't know why, I just think the tail is cute. Hmm. Um, I also painted on the little plug thing. I don't really know what to call it. Um, but you know that little plug that blocks out that hole at the bottom? Um, I painted a little heart onto it because I thought, you know, I didn't want to leave it plain and I thought it was cute, so why not? Um, you'll see that soon too. 
Um, one stats are done. Um, I took out the a, a black Posca pen. You'll see that later. Um, and I draw a little pattern over the whole body, and I think it looks really cute. And it makes it a little bit edgier or creepier, and I really like that. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, I realize now though that I should have kept that same pattern from the Posca pens um, and put that on the plug. <laughs> but no, I decided to paint a heart instead, so oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I think it's cute, but you know, it's got a little creepy vibe to it. Um, don't know if I'll ever actually use it because I have a different money jar going at the moment. But I want to use it because it's cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, once everything is dry, um, I sprayed it with a clear, go clear gloss coat, <laughs> um, and hopefully that'll just help make the paint last, um, and it made it a bit shiny too, because it's a gloss coat, so it's shiny, and I think it looks really cute. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked the video, um, hasn't finished yet, obviously. <laughs> But I hope you like it, um, and if you want to see more things like this, let me know. I'm always happy to have suggestions and constructive criticism. Um, I think it's very useful, and I want to get better at this. Um, I want to progress and make better videos. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!